today I have uh, assigned my students. I'm in my BS Part Three lab as usual. It's eight above eight thirty. I have just finished my demo and I have uh, assigned them the experiment which they are supposed to do. Today they are going to prepare a compound again, an organic compound. So I explained them everything one by one how they are going to proceed with the reaction how they are going to synthesize it by following different steps so i can show you what i have how i've explained them so this is my experiment which i've just explained them the way i always do it uh, this is experiment number three and i told them how they are going to do it how they are going to heat the compound and then how they are going to react benzyl dehyde and aniline and they are going to get a ship base their organic compound and uh, how they are going to find out that whether it's formed of course through different techniques that is dlc melting point ftir and of course etc etc and then uh, i explain them what is chn analysis chn o analysis and what is ftir and everything and then i explain them that they are going to get of course the crystals um, in the end and um, that is how they are going to end with the, their product so this was the brief uh, introduction of um, what i just explained to my students so my students have started uh, the synthesis process they have uh, I used the fume hood for um, the mixing the compound and i can show you now how they have uh, they are doing it right now so this, these are my students only boys I can show faces right and this is the work they are doing right now they are preparing a shift base an organic compound right this is it girls are also standing here I'm not showing them I'm just showing the work how they are arranged the assembly uh, the whole uh, experimental process that is the uh, ship base is formed when you simply react an aldehyde or a carbonyl compound with an amine so this is what they have done they are doing they are stirring the compound this is called slow stirring and then they will finally cool it down after a period of 30 minutes or one hour they are going to cool it and then they will see the product in a crystal form as usual I'm standing outside the lab because uh, it's very uh, pungent the benzyl and the compounds are very pungent and they are all you know they are all carcinogenic and they are very toxic and I yesterday day before yesterday when I I mean I was standing there I was totally breathless so today I don't want to be again ill I am not feeling well today because of the fumes because maybe the fume uh, hood is not was not working well so that's the lab they are doing inside that lab my students are there I can show you and they will inshallah hopefully they will prepare their compound within one hour they are working over there you can see them this is the group that is working over there and I'm happy that they are doing their work they are now regular and they are performing all the experiments one by one they are on experiment number three now so that that's the success and that's why I'm very happy that they are now uh, I mean they are they are simply they have accomplished something and I want to show you the ship base day before yesterday the group has prepared it turned in, into beautiful crystals after 24 hours so I wanted to show you so let's see the ship base so this is the these are the crystals which are formed which the group day has prepared day before yesterday I have posted a video in which I have shown the I mean ex whole experimental process and I've shown the uh, the students who were who have prepared this compound it's benzylidine aniline it's not in a um, purified form now they are going to recrystallize it so that they will get colorless crystals and their melting point is supposed to be around 52 degrees centigrade so how beautiful they look simply they are beautiful So my students are still, uh, I mean, uh, performing the experiment. They are still uh, doing the reaction because the reaction period is not over. It's a period of almost uh, one and a half, more than hour or a half, uh, more than half an hour. So.
because in some reactions when you're preparing a ship base it uh, happens that it is prepared within a period of 30 minutes but sometimes the period exceeds so you, they need to heat it more for more than uh, I mean uh, an hour they need to heat it so maybe they'll get the product in a nice form uh, I can show you my students still they are working and I'm happy that at least they are engaging themselves they are working you can see them they are over there now the girls are and simply doing their uh, stirring of the reaction mixture so I can show you the reaction mixture it's still being heated by the girls now I'm not showing the girls but only the reaction mixture because it's been done by stirred by the girls now it will hopefully soon turn into crystals and then they will cool it off in some ice cold water and then it will be kept for some time until it crystallizes that's it and then they will move on with, with the further I mean steps so this is the chemistry practical journal and I wanted to show you how they are going to uh, I mean make the journal and how, going to, how they are going to write the experiment they have missed the date here but it is supposed to be written like this and this is the left side is for the reactions and things like that so this is the theory and this is again the reactions this is the procedure how they are performed and this is the simply the calculation and that's my signature on the first experiment this is experiment number two because now they are performing third experiment so I'm showing you how they have prepared the journal so they have are alhamdulillah they are doing their work nicely and i'm happy for that so this is the finally yield of the compound so one group is performing the experiment and the other group is the ones who are not participating they are preparing their journals right now so this is how they are doing, they are also doing the rough readings, the boys are doing the rough readings, they will do it in their fair journals, here also the boys are doing their work, preparing the journals meanwhile. So this is how the experiment goes on and it will reach to its uh, finishing line soon.